One of the things that was really interesting when I heard you guys talking before we started doing the interview is just how much you all are becoming entrepreneurs, really. And I'm wondering, did you have entrepreneurial backgrounds? Is this a new thing for you that you're learning as you go? Yeah, I mean, I've worked for a number of startups and I've seen how that process works. Um, I've never taken the leap to like, you know, raise money and do a project myself. But, you know, like we were saying before, the cool thing was that we really didn't need to raise any money. We didn't need to put in some huge amount of time investment. Um, it, it was just, it kind of made it really easy. The existing tools, the community, um, it makes it really easy to, to try these things with very little risk and the potential of big returns. And I've been trying to actually kind of spread that message. Like if you're a web developer, you know, here's a great opportunity on what's still a relatively new platform. And like you said, if you come with some new idea and a lot of stuff hasn't been done yet. So there's a lot of ideas. So yeah. So it's like, it's not like, oh, I have to come up with something no one's thought of ever. It's like, there's plenty of things and you can come and you can do it and get a ton of support really fast and really easily with little risk. One of the things I've always felt was a bit underrated that I think you've learned over your time in the ecosystem is that you can directly engage with your customer. I mean, yeah, they're users and they're friends and stuff like that. But if you're going to wind up fi firing up uh, a business, they become potential customers. And so you can just ask them, would you guys be interested in doing this? And so you can really maximize your odds of succeeding because if you start seeing that interest, oh, well, that person could be a writer. Or that And I, I feel like you guys have done a great job. But then they, but then they get involved and yeah. then they spread that. I mean, like, you know, if I, if I hire a writer, you know, on any other platform or like, you know, if I just find somebody on Facebook or I find them on LinkedIn and they become my writer, they write for me and then it's part of the story and I own it. And that's the end of the story. If I do this through Steam... You know, I'm posting a contest. The contest attracts a bunch of people. The authors then spread their own story. So that gets like that kind of viral messaging of this out. Uh, we crowdsourced it from lots of different people. So we had the pick of the best story that fit for that one card or that one character or that one backstory or whatever. Um, and we're able to go kind of put this together and hopefully have that be like a really compelling story because we're able to take all the best pieces from all the de all the best writers that submitted, it's better than just, you know, if I just had that one author that I hired and that was my, the full-time gig and they never spread the message because they just worked for me and they never like told anybody else what they were doing. They never published those parts, you know, and they worked on different stories. It might start feeling really homogenous. Um, we just get so much utility out of, uh, the crowd, both from marketing, from really good stories, from some competition, from, um, I don't know, from a really active community that seems to dig this and put some buzz around it. 